Many people keep complaining that they still don't see their manifestations and wonder why it didn't work. The reason is actually simple to understand. Let's say you are in San Francisco and for some reason you find it undesirable. Everything there seems to upset you, the people, the neighborhoods, the infrastructure etc. And you desire to go to London because that's your ideal destination. For the sake of this example, let's assume you even have the means to go there. But you're scared and worried about moving to a new place because change for most people is scary. So, instead of just boarding a flight and moving to London, you continue to stay in San Francisco and keep complaining how undesirable it is and wonder why life is so bad and why things aren't how you want them. This is exactly your situation. San Francisco in this example, represents the state of mind you are in right now. Because of this state, everything you see around you is completely undesirable. And the concept of change, when you think from this state, is always scary. Because, the quality of the thoughts and feelings you get are direct byproducts of the type of state you are in. And so you continue to stay in this state and constantly complain about it. And you still wonder why things haven't changed. Isn't it so obvious? In order to change this undesirable experience, you have to change your state. You can desire to go to London all you want, but unless you board the flight you can't move to London. You cannot exist in two different realities at the same time. You're either in San Francisco, undesirable state, or in London, desired state, at any given moment of time. You've to leave one to be in another. Choose the reality you want with your imagination. Shift to your desired state of being. The one where you already have your desire. How do you do this? Create assumptions that fit this new state. A shift in your assumptions will shift your focus. That in turn puts you in a new state. And remember, each time you react to your circumstances, to what you see, it's keeping you from boarding the plane. The subconscious mind understands only feelings. Imagine the subconscious mind as a switchboard with only one big red button that says, I want this, each time you react to what you don't want, you're essentially pressing the button saying, I want this. In this case, it's your intense feelings, your reaction, and not your fingers that pushes the button. Because the subconscious mind can't differentiate what you want or don't want like the logical mind. It just gives you exactly what you feel is true. So, you keep experiencing the same things and it further perpetuates your false assumptions. It's a vicious loop you get stuck in. So, remember, this is the absolute basic. Do not react negatively and act out. Just observe and acknowledge it. Because they're just shadows from your old image. Once, you change the image, the shadow changes as well. You've to unlearn everything you learned before, in order to truly comprehend Neville Goddard's teachings. You can't latch on to your old beliefs and still want to learn and believe in Neville Goddard's teachings. That's like sitting in a car with your seat belt on and want to get out, but you refuse to unbuckle it. Empty your glass of water first. It's all in or nothing. I hope you like this video. For more videos like this subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.